Business owners and receptionists take phone calls manually every single day, answering repetitive questions and doing mundane tasks. Imagine fully automating this process with digital receptionists who can work on autopilot for the rest of time. Today, this is possible with AI phone callers. These are realistic sounding, quick to respond and intelligent systems. Here's a quick demo. Hey, welcome to Lawn Care. How can we help you today? Hey, I'd like to get a quote. Great, could I please get your first and last name? John Smith. Thanks, John. In this video, I'll show you how you can quickly build and white label AI voice callers on the vapi.ai platform. We've sold these AI phone callers from $4,000 to up to $12,500 at our agency. To do this, I'll use a platform called vapi.ai to develop the AI voice callers and VoiceGlow to connect to Vapi and manage all of our agents with a white label dashboard. VoiceGlow will enable us to create logins for clients where they can view analytics, conversations, and upload new knowledge based documents. This dashboard can be fully white labeled with a custom domain name and branded however you'd like. To get started, sign up for a Vapi account and a VoiceGlow account using the links in the description. So to get started in setting this up, this right here is voiceglow.org. And this is the main platform that we're gonna be using to connect to Vapi to create our white label dashboard. So you may have seen that I have used the voiceglow before on the channel for a variety of other things. For example, they've got a really good custom automation with voiceflow that allows you to create a really customized chatbot. And so in one of my previous videos, I showed you how you can actually connect Vapi to a website chatbot so that people can actually call your Vapi assistant through a chatbot widget on your website. If you would like to see that video, you can now click it in the top right. So the way that VoiceGlow works is that we create a brand new agent on their platform and then we just connect Vapi to that agent and then we're gonna get access to all of that data that Vapi sends us and then we can manage all of that through a white label dashboard that's been provided to us from VoiceGlow. So the first thing you'll wanna do is sign up for an account and then go to your agent's dashboard and we're just gonna create a new agent. Once you've clicked create new agent, we can just give it a name. For the agent platform, we're just gonna be selecting simple VoiceGlow. We're not gonna be selecting the VoiceGlow plus VoiceGlow. That is for connecting VoiceGlow to your agent but we're just gonna be using their basic agent. So once you've clicked create, you're gonna land on a page that looks like this. And what this is, is essentially a chatbot customization platform. Now we're not gonna be using this chatbot customization platform, although it is something that they provide as standard. So you can actually turn your Vapi assistant uh, into a website chatbot. So if you wanna actually put that assistant on a web page for people to converse with and also talk with over voice, you can do that as well. So to connect this to Vapi, we just have to go over to channels and what you'll see is they have a wide variety of channels that we can actually connect our assistants into. So the way that this agent is already set up is that we can already give it a prompt because this is connected to the OpenAI Assistance API. So they already have all of these settings in place where you can give it a prompt and initial message and it will converse like a regular assistant through this. But with their voice integration, we can essentially override all of this with their integration with Vapi. As you can see at the top here, it says voice setup powered by Vapi, powerful real-time voice to voice. So we can just enable this and have it working from here. So to do this, just go to the voice setting and click connect. Once you've done this, you'll get access to a bunch of settings that allows you to connect an individual Vapi assistant to this assistant. Now you'll notice that my agent is already connected to Vapi. As you can see here, Vapi is connected to your agency. So to connect your agency to VoiceGlow, all you need to do is go over to credentials. And then the first option you'll see here is the Vapi credentials. All you need is your public API key and your private API key. And we can get this by going to Vapi, going to the bottom right by clicking on our email and just clicking on API keys. Once you've done this, you'll get access to your private and public API keys. You just hit the copy button down here, go to voice glow, paste them in. It will automatically connect to your account. Once you've done this, your account should be connected and you should get this green box that pops up to tell you that it is now connected. And for the rest of the boxes, you'll notice that they are pretty much all optional except for the Vapi assistant ID. You'll see here the, the public API key and private API key pop up again, but these are optional. Obviously, if you just want to override the default API key for some reason, you can put that in there and swap it over. Maybe for an individual project, you can have a different Vapi account. But in this case, we're just gonna be changing the Vapi assistant ID. So to get this assistant ID, all we need to do is go to one of our Vapi assistants on the Vapi platform. We can just hit the copy assistant ID button at the top, go back to voice glow and paste it in here. Then just make sure to hit the save button in the top right. Now, the next thing that we need to do to actually start getting all of the data from Vapi and from our Vapi calls into our voice load dashboard is actually connect to the server URL. Now, if you look here, the server URL is used to receive event data from Vapi. So this is what's gonna allow us to actually get all of the conversations and calls that occur with our assistant to be pulled in through Vapi. So it does say the survey role is optional, but for the white labeling, I'd say that this is required. We can get this survey role by going back to Vapi, going to our email, going to the settings button, and then just copy the organization ID at the top here, copy that, 
paste it in the server URL, role and then just hit save in the top right. Once you've done that, go to the conversations tab in the middle and what you'll see is any calls that you've made are now gonna start popping up in the conversations. So this right here is a call that I've just done a few minutes ago. So the first thing you'll see is the transcript of the conversation and above this, we'll actually get access to the entire recording of that call. And we can just listen to that through this dashboard. So to test it out once more, I can just hit talk to our assistant on the actual VAPI dashboard. Hi, is this Brendan? Yeah, that's right. I'm just looking to test this feature to see if it pops up on the Voice Glow platform. Okay, there we go. This is just a demo system that I was running, but that should now pop up. And there you go, look at that a few seconds ago. So that is literally immediate that has popped up and you can see here, uh, hi, is this Brendan? Yeah, that's right. I'm just looking to test this feature. It pops up on Voice Globe. Transcript error there, but that's essentially how it works. You can get all your conversations popped up through this dashboard, uh, which you can use for yourself. And Voice Glow even has a few more features to help us actually organize these conversations. As you can see here, we can actually add some tags if we said it was a good example. Uh, maybe the conversation was really good, it worked well, or it was a bad example. And we can actually use that with team members to come in and change stuff up or modify the prompt based on any issues or errors that come along. Or your clients can actually use this to say, that was a good call. Uh, that's fine or they could say that's bad and we actually want an adjustment made based on the call that's been done. So now for what you actually came for, how to actually turn this into a white level dashboard so you can give this off to your client so they can manage their entire assistant and they won't see any of the VAPI branding and you can brand it with all of your company details so it looks like you've built this platform from scratch. So to do this, go over to the left and what you'll see is this agency tab right here. Clicking into this agency tab, what you'll get access to is a bunch of options and customization options to really format the Voice Glow website to your company as much as possible. So one of the things that we can do is obviously rename the agency so we can add in our agency name add in some branding text, but one of the really cool features is that we can actually change the domain from the voiceglow.org domain to our own domain. So at the moment, I'm just using the voiceglow.org domain with my own name in front of it. But what you can do is obviously enter in a custom domain, get that verified through voiceglow, and you can just be using your own custom domain so it looks like the website has been built by yourself and that there is no third party involved. They've even got a feature for email, so you can do a custom email domain and you can run that through Voice Glow. You can change the theme so you can add in all of your branding, all of your colors, uh, and have it really customized, even with custom CSS. So this can look really like your company, adding in custom fonts as well right here. We can add any custom tabs with HTML and iframes to let the client access that from their dashboard as well. So really a good amount of features here to create a really good custom interface and dashboard for clients to be using this and really getting a custom experience from Voice Glow. And then lastly, they've got a footer so we can add in the website, email, terms of service and our main website. So once again, really just finalizing this into a really well-rounded, good white label dashboard that is really customized to your business and that doesn't have any value branding anywhere. Once you've got your agency all set up, now what we're gonna do is actually add some clients to our agency. So what you're looking at right here is essentially a view where we can add in multiple clients and then assign our agents to our clients. Voice Glow also allows you to assign multiple agents to a client as well. So if your client has an inbound assistant as well as an outbound calling assistant, you can actually add in all of them at once and they get access to all of that data uh, all in their one dashboard without needing multiple dashboards or anything like that. So to create a client, just hit the new client button up here. You can give it a name and then just add in an image. There is a bit more uh, customization later on, but this is just getting the base of it. Once you've added your client, you're gonna get a tab that looks like this. And this right here is just a test. And I've added in two different VAPI agents into this client. The first thing you can do is just go over to the manage button for this particular client. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and added myself as an admin to the actual client account. You do need to do this to get access to the dashboard to actually see if it's working. So just add yourself as an admin for each of your client accounts and they'll give yourself a login so you can actually log into that white level dashboard. You can create an account for yourself by just hitting add user, adding in your name, email, generating a random password. You can add in an image as well if you'd like. And then you can just give yourself the organization admin setting here, or you can actually change up some of the different uh, settings and what you'd actually like that particular user to use. So if you've got a client and you don't want them to have access to adjust the prompt, you wanna charge them for that or something, then you can either toggle this on or toggle it off. You can also change if you don't want to give them access to analytics, the knowledge base, conversations, channels, settings, etc. You can actually turn this all off and on. So it's a really good platform that allows you to be quite dynamic. Once you've added yourself as an admin, we can actually go and enter the dashboard by clicking in here. And this is going to automatically log us in using the account that we just created. And now we are on the white label dashboard right here. So as you'll see that we've got two main sections of this, and this is the workspace. So this is the client. This is going to have their client. Uh, name, so if it is your, whatever that client's name is, it's gonna be up here. 
They can obviously edit that themselves if they'd like, or you can edit that for them, give them an image and also change their name. And then from this at the top here, we can actually click into the different agents that have been assigned for them. And so this test agent is the one that I just created earlier. And you can see here, we've already got some data coming through from the calls that I had just made previously. So if I just hit the conversations button, you'll see here, we've now got two calls that have popped up with the entire conversation and recording. And this is now the fully white label dashboard that the client will have access to. So you can give this to them. Obviously in my case, this hasn't been fully branded. You can see the glow up here, uh, but we can obviously update that profile picture to be one that is either our company branding or the company branding, the client that we're working with. But once you fully customize this with all of your colors and logos and names, it'll feel like a really good complete solution for the client who's now gonna be able to access all of the conversations from here. In addition to the conversations, we've also got an analytics tab. This gives us really good insights into all of the different assistants that we've got. Uh, and all of the different conversations that are happening, the user retention, uh, intents that are being triggered, and all of the statistics that can be easily viewed with one single glance from the client. We can also give the client access to the actual knowledge base. So if we want them to start uploading documents themselves, they wanna actually manage that. You can do that through here. So if we had uploaded some documents on the VAPI side of things, those documents would have imported themselves here as well. And then the client can come through, delete a file if they don't want it, or upload a new file if there's one that's with more updated information. And if I come back to the client permission settings, I can just go and edit myself. I'm gonna go down and turn on the prompt, the channels and the settings, hit save user. And now we've got access to the prompt of the assistant. So a client can come through and modify the prompt if they'd like. One thing you do need to do is actually import the prompt again. So this overrides the initial message of the VAPI assistant as well as the prompt. So you do need to input the prompt and system prompt uh, once again in here, but once it's in here, it'll override the one that's on VAPI. So you can just start maintaining and changing your prompt from here instead of VAPI. The settings tab just gives us access to actually modifying the chatbot version of our assistant. So if we wanna give them a chatbot and give them access to modify that, we can turn on the settings and they can get access to modifying this if they'd like. So they can give it a title, a theme to change the colors, the icons, as well as the settings to change any of this. But for the most part, I think having the home prompt knowledge conversations and analytics is a really good tool set to give to your client uh, to let them manage pretty much the majority of a VAPI assistant from. For monitoring the costs of each caller and the cost per minute that racks up from each call that is being made, at the moment, you will have to monitor this through VAPI itself to see what the call costs are and all the charges that are required to be made for the client. But one thing I do recommend is actually going ahead and just creating a VAPI account for the particular client, setting them up on all of their accounts and their billing accounts, and then connecting this to VoiceGlow and giving them that dashboard. That way you don't have to deal with monitoring all of these costs and you can just get them to pay it directly and then give them this dashboard and then charge them a certain amount for the dashboard. If you wanna learn more about building these AI voice callers, you can go ahead and watch my two hour tutorial where I cover everything there is to know about building AI phone callers.